hello guys i hope you are doing very fine today so the content of this playlist if you have checked it out before is just about trying to teach people how to start from sharepoint from the zero point of understanding to becoming pro in sharepoint usage so if you are new to this channel my name is joseph Afeso. i'm a microsoft most valuable professional and i'm happy that i have this to continue from where we stopped the last time on the SharePoint and Teams handshake, right? So this is the SharePoint Admin Center. So if I come to cmd.ms and I click on SharePoint, then it's going to land me at the SharePoint Admin Center. And if I get to the SharePoint Admin Center, I have option to do a lot of things. And that's what I wanted to look at in this video today. So let me just wait for this to load. And here we go. So I have tried to show active sites and we created sites in the last video and then we moved on to some few stuffs and then yeah which I would definitely have to continue from these points you know so this was just showing you when you upload document I mean the last video when you upload document to SharePoint how it sinks into Teams and from Teams how you could get them from SharePoint that was what this video was all about so Coming back to the um, SharePoint Admin Center, so it means that on the active site, we have been able to create um, communication site, we've been able to create team site, and I, I can say that we are fine with that. So at this point, what I want us to look at is deleted sites, okay? Deleted sites is very, very important topic that we need to look at. Now, looking at deletion of a site, when you delete a site, it does not just get deleted permanently. So if you delete um, a team site, for example, it is coming to drop here as waiting for you to, you know, either take the option to permanently delete the site, right? Or you want to wait. So if you wait, it's going to take 93 days before it can permanently get deleted. So the first point where you delete a site, it comes here. It is called soft delete. So if you want to hard delete a site, it means that you have to now come here. Because sites are retained here for 93 days and then permanently deleted. Now, how did I know about the 93 days? I have to put it at 3 months, which are all of 31 days. So that you don't struggle to remember the number of 93 or trying to think if it is 90, 93, if it is 60 or 30. You know, so you could actually remember by saying that the deleted site stays here for 90 days. But let's take instances where you want to permanently delete a site. You click on here and then you have option to by yourself permanently delete this site from your environment. But what happens when you you delete you you know you have option to delete this i want to bring us back to the active site there's something i want you to significantly take note of i want to delete blank team look at this status here team's um, site right so if i come on here i'll have option to delete right so i'll click on delete and that will go correct okay cool now if i come to um i know i have sharepoint playlist here i have maybe i will do example with this sharepoint playlist and then the sharepoint communication if i click on here for example i click here remember this one has team status as well i click on delete and then i hit on this and then the site is deleted correct all right so if i come to the second sharepoint playlist which is a communication site now, if I hit on this and I hit on this and I say delete and I hit on delete to confirm that all this site I have deleted would have to come to would have to come to deleted sites. OK, now, if I come here, look at something striking and a very important difference that you need to take note of. If I click on here, I will have option to permanently delete the site. But if I come to this one here. I will not have the option to permanently delete this site. Why? That's a very big question that you need to be aware of. Now, I will click on here. I will hard delete these sites. I will do this and then I will click on confirm. <clears throat> it is gone forever. Now, but if I want to delete this SharePoint playlist that is here, this is not coming up. The reason is because this is a Teams site and a Teams site has a corresponding M365 group. So this site, I can only permanently delete it 
after 30 days because the group that is associated with the team site when it is created would have to stay in the soft delete page for 30 days before you can go ahead to permanently delete the site so what i would just want us to do quickly is that i will go to the entra admin center and then i will also go to m365 admin center so i will do this apologies i think i will need to click on enter to click on this so i'm going to the m365 admin center here now if i click on this and i come to i come to teams and group and I come to deleted groups, I'm going to see the SharePoint playlist group here. Look at it. Now, I don't have the option to permanently delete this SharePoint playlist here. Now, the point I'm raising is that it is until you delete the corresponding um, the corresponding group that came with the SharePoint site, you cannot permanently delete it. But this is going to be here. See, deleted M35 group will be shown here for 30 days before the group and its associated data are permanently deleted. If you need to, you can restore a Microsoft 365 group and its data within this period, right? So now the only option I have here is to restore the group. And if I restore the group, then it means that the group is going to be active and i'm just going to also restore the deleted sharepoint site and then everything keeps going right but if i want to have the option to permanently delete this site then i must also permanently first delete this because this is dependent on this right this deleted site i mean deleted group is dependent on the deleted site and for me to be able to remove this site permanently i must first of four remove the associated group and from the microsoft 365 admin center the option to permanently delete the group is not available but you can do that from the entra admin center so if i go to the entra admin center and i go get the deleted group deleted permanently and then return to sharepoint sites to delete it i will be i will have the option to permanently delete the sharepoint site so i'm just waiting for this guy to load up so that we can check on that deleted group and then delete the sharepoint playlist team from the deleted group so that we can come to sharepoint and permanently delete the uh, SharePoint site that we are trying to get rid of. So now if I click on here, I will go to deleted groups and from here I will have the option to permanently delete this site. Can you see it here? But if I come here, the only option I have is to restore. By coming down to this place, I can say, okay, 30 days after original deletion group are permanently deleted. Sure, I know, but I can force this to get deleted right now and it is gone so now that this is gone it means that if i come here to refresh here i'm not going to see the sharepoint playlist here anymore because from the entra admin center i have already deleted the group i hope that is making sense to you so right now it's not going to be here so if i go to my sharepoint now and i refresh here one so what is going to happen is that there's going to be a handshake between sharepoint and the m365 admin center to say the dependent group has been permanently deleted or had deleted so what that imply is that if i come to deleted sites here and i scroll down to sharepoint playlist then the option to permanently delete this is going to be activated isn't this wonderful so just to summarize when you create a sharepoint site the sharepoint site creates a corresponding um Sharp, i mean corresponding m365 group and when you want to delete the site or when you delete the site and it goes into the deleted folder it remains there for 93 days and then within that 93 days the first 30 days the group that is dependent on dependent on it would have been deleted it is only there and then that you can by yourself go to the deleted site and permanently delete the site but in an instant where you want to get rid of the site like right now because perhaps you want to use the name for another site or for one reason or the other 
then you must first of all go delete the dependent group first before you can come to the site to delete it permanently and from the microsoft 365 admin center the only option you have to action on a deleted group is to restore the group but you could go to the entry admin center and permanently delete this the group and then you can confirm that from the m 5 admin center and therefore you can go to the SharePoint Admin Center on the deleted site before you can have option to delete the site permanently. And this only applies to um, Teams site because communication sites do not have any team. I mean, any group that are going to be, you know, um, created alongside with them. Therefore, you can delete a a communication site now to get into the communication I mean the deleted folder and go to the deleted folder to permanently delete them and that is just going to work but that's not going to be the case for a team site because they have corresponding groups that are created alongside with them I know this is a bit a bit technical to people who do not really have understanding about all these things work but I am also open for questions and then if there are comments that you may want to also make me know or you want to share your own opinion about what i've just shown you please go ahead and use the comment uh, session below thank you very much for your time and thank you for sticking to my video to this point have a great day so if you have not subscribed to the channel maybe it is time you want to do that thank you and have a great day again peace